over Ray's Welcome back with another um, live stream and another episode of the Batman the Telltale Game series. So, surely, yes, what's up, guys? Hope you guys are having an awesome day, and uh, so far at least. And um, we woke up um, feeling great and everything, and hope you guys got some good sleep, all that good stuff. Start your awesome day off, or at least have a couple days. We're, we're gonna play some awesome Batman and get some of my action. Episode 1 was very, very good. So I'm looking forward to episode 2 being just as good, if better. Um, I, I feel awesome about the series. The series feels really good, and lots of action. That's what I love it. It keeps you really um, into, into the series, and it makes you feel like you're the hero. Which you are there, which, um, but it, it, it feels awesome to play. And to make another game like this. That's kind of cool. If you guys would like me to play um, Galaxy of the Guardians or the Guardians of the Galaxy, reverse that. <laughs> um, then um, please tell me in the comment section of this video below if you guys would like me to play that game. It um, looks pretty it looks okay, it doesn't look too bad, but I'm willing to give it a try and play it and see how well it is. Let me make sure for a second here to make sure everything's good on my end so we don't have any problems with um, the video. Make sure this bad boy is not on mute. Alright, looks like we are good. Hope you guys do like and enjoy. Or hit a like button if you guys do enjoy this. Um, if not, just like, do what you guys want to do. Hope you guys enjoy anyway. Um, anyways. <laughs> um, I do gotta tell you guys really something really important. Um, Um, because I'm gonna do two live streams today. One, this is the first one that I'm doing. I'm gonna do a second one, but I would like you bros to pick which one you guys would like me to do. Um, and and, and um, I made a video right here, right here, the first one, the top one, right there. That is um the video, guys. I want you guys to check out right now. Because that one is where you vote. You vote in the comment section of this video, the first top one. Of course, when this uploads as a video, it's going to be the second one. But um, as of right now, it is the top one. So the very top one, please watch this video and comment down in the description. There is um, nine games to pick from which you bros would like to play. We have GTA 5 on the top, and then of course it goes down the list. For you guys to vote, just number, um, pick a game. Uh, you don't put the game title in there. You put what the number is. So whatever is to the left, that's that's what you put in the description. You put that in the comment section below, and then I'll see whoever gets the most votes. Um, I would not advise you to pick um, the Walking Dead season one full season and the season two full season due to the fact that I don't have enough time to do that during the day because we have some things. To do. So I would advise you not to pick those two. Um, but if we do get enough votes on, on walking this season 2 full season or season 1 full season, I will have to do that probably next Saturday or Friday. Um, probably, yeah, one of those days, and, and then the, I'll have enough time to do those live streams of 7 hour or 8 hours. In fact, it's probably going to be more than that. Due to the fact is those episodes are not too long. Um, but um, you guys, we can play some GTA 5, we got Call of Duty Black Ops 1, we got two, three, um, all those zombies. We got Red Dead Redemption on, on Dead Nightmare. We got NFL 17 in the division. Those are the other options. So please comment section in the, in, not in this live stream, in this, but in this video that I uploaded. Um, January 3rd, uh, um, oh, okay, June 3rd, sorry. Which is, of course, 11 hours ago. So upload, um, watch this one, please. Comment in the comment section right when you guys get the chance. Please do this. Um, 
really soon. That would be awesome. Okay, hopefully you guys can see that like I said. Comment in the comment section. Which one gets the most votes of the games, and that will be my second game that I'm going to live stream today. Hope you guys do stick around for that. So whatever game it's going to be, not sure that is up to you guys. Um, but um, yes, so that is very important, you guys. Please do that. Hope you guys do enjoy this live stream. Like I said, um, we're going to be doing episode two of Whoops. Um, <laughs> wrong thing. But anyways, I'm going to get started. We're going to get started with episode 2. I just, I just uploaded. Crap. Well, I meant to do it yesterday, but... Um, I forgot to do it. Then I was too tired. Because back then I was So... But anyways... We're going to start this episode, so I hope you guys do enjoy Leave a like if you guys do enjoy this. Remember, hit that subscribe button, as always, below my, um, by my name. And, of course, hit that bell icon so you guys can be notified anytime I make a video or a live stream. But, like I said, please tell in the comment section below of this video. If you guys would like me to get Friday the, night thir um, Friday the 13th, the awesome game for my Xbox One, so I can live stream for you guys and all that good stuff. I'll get it for both systems, for my PS4 Pro and my Xbox One. Because my Xbox One, like with my friends, I'm here, and then on the same thing, and I'm there. So please, like I said, comment in the comment section below if you guys have like to get that game for my Xbox One so we can live stream. Get some awesome like, The game looks really, really good, and I see a lot of people playing it. Anyways, we're going to get started. Hope you guys do enjoy this episode. I feel like this is going to be a good one. And don't forget to comment in that in that one video. It has two live streams. Um, 6, 4, um, 17. So remember, comment in the comment section of that. What game you guys would let me to do in my second live stream. Hope you guys do check that out. Hope you guys do vote. And uh, yeah, we'll see which one gets the most votes. Um, anyways. Started. Here we go. All right, let's get started. Hopefully, this will be a good episode. I wonder how it's going to be. Don't mind me. I'm just. It's just easier when it's down here like that. Previously. A revolution is knocking on Gotham's door. When this whole thing starts, make sure you're on the right side. <clears throat> Mr. Wayne, thank you for opening your house to us. Together, we will change Gotham. Episode one is very, very good. Harvey Dent, Gotham's next mayor, and eager to know you. Vicki Vale, not interested, and reporter for the Gotham Gazette. Carmine Falcone? Is the Dent campaign soliciting votes from Gotham's biggest crime family? Your father knew which hands to shake. Don't you know not to corner a wild animal? It's dangerous. Girl right there. This is Selena. Mm. That was interesting. That was very interesting. Oh, <sighs> I'd have to count the pieces. Falcone's calling card. The chemicals. Where are they? We're all being played in, couldn't you? <laughs> it's the Waynes. <laughs> well, the Waynes are the biggest gangsters in Gotham. <laughs> hmm. 
Yeah, I wonder how that's going to go down. I'm really curious now. I thought I might find you here. The news was upsetting for both of us. Yeah. But you should see this. I know you come here for solitude, Bruce. More allegations about his ties to the underworld. This isn't going away. It's all so public and messy. People are throwing stones at my family, Alfred. I need to understand why. It's my family, too. Don't forget that. I've been dreading this day for nearly two decades. I, I hoped it would never come. Forget the papers. I want to hear it from you. The truth is, they were billionaires, Bruce. You can't amass that kind of wealth without making certain moral compromises. It's just not possible. That kind of money taints you. You kept their secrets for them. I'm trying to help you understand. Then try harder! Hill greased the wheels of politics. Falcone was the muscle. Thomas legitimized the whole enterprise with his name. Your father, Hamilton Hill, and Falcone, they were partners. Nothing happened in Gotham without them knowing. Working with Falcone and Hill. I expected a regular accounting, not a pact with the devil. Your father was a good man in many ways, but this was his undoing. I want you to know I had my suitcases ready. I couldn't stand to be around your father anymore. But then... They were killed, and you were all alone. And I just couldn't walk out the door. Everything I did, everything I've ever done, was out of love for you. I hope you can forgive me. Okay. How could I hold this against you? You're all I've got, Alfred. Thank you. I won't let you down again. This is the first time I've been back here since that night. When the police called me to collect you, I thought they'd finally arrested your father. I couldn't believe a low-life thug like Joe Chill would have the audacity to rob and kill Thomas Wayne. He was simply too well known, too, too big. Yet, there it was. He got careless. Criminals always do. You always said it was a simple mugging. In 20 years, you've never wavered from that story. I can recall every moment of that night in vivid detail. But maybe that's wrong. Sometimes we block out things we don't want to face. Maybe there was some detail I overlooked. We gotta fix this. I want him standing here, right now. And what would the 
that man do with his own parents' killer? The possibilities are frightening. I wouldn't trust myself around him. That man doesn't kill. That's why I wouldn't trust myself. He was stabbed to death in prison. No one mourns for Joe Chill, Bruce. Uh, I actually, I realized I said I said the wrong thing. I probably I probably would send him to jail. Batman does not kill, so he just wanted to protect us. He thought he was invincible. Sadly, he was mistaken. I just I can't picture him as a criminal, not the kind I deal with. In that moment, he was simply your father. <clears throat> I love that movie. I saw it countless times at that theater. How long did it play there? Only when you wanted to see it, Bruce. Your mother arranged the special screenings personally. I never knew that. She was always so good to me. Where exactly does the memory end? With my father pleading, you don't have to do this. And the gun fires. And after that? Uh, there are considerable gaps in that recollection. Hmm. Maybe. Do I really want to know? Yes. I sure do. But that's me. Assassinated. And Carmine Falcone knows why. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. a.m. Hmm. But getting you in to see Falcone like this, I don't have to tell you how many rules we're breaking. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm always here for you, but this could land us both in hot water. I pulled all the strings I had with the lieutenant. This better not come back to bite us. Look, I get that hard, okay? And it means a lot to me. I know it does, Bruce. It doesn't make it any easier. 
The last time we brushed shoulders with Falcone, the press made us pay. At least tell me what this is about. Look, I'm all for blind support, but I should at least know what I'm getting myself into. I'm not sure, but I think Falcone put a hit on my parents. Wait, what? Bruce, that's... that's terrible. That's why I have to speak with him. I have to know for sure. Bruce, I appreciate you opening up to me, but just try and keep it cool in there. I don't want any headlines taking away from my debate with Hill. Gentlemen, we finally put Falcone in his cage. Now, well, thanks to the information you gave me, Bruce, he won't ever get out. Whoa, I'm sorry. Uh, information? What information? Oh, well, I assumed you knew. I was going to contact your office first thing. But everything's been a little busy. Sorry, Harvey, I was going to tell you. Well, tell me what? Your friend here gave us a case that'll put Balcone away for life. A catalog of his entire criminal empire. Is that a fact? It's the reason I said yes to this unorthodox request. <laughs> yeah. Nice job bringing in Falcone. Yeah, that son of a bitch better not get off again. He's not getting off the hook, Rene. Not this time. Mr. Wayne, Sergeant Rene Montoya. I just wanted to say, you know, some of us police support you, despite what the media is saying. Thanks, Sergeant. We're keeping Falcone in the infirmary. Still got the He's cops lucky on our he side. Didn't get roughed up more. I could tell Batman wanted to kill him, but he held back. He cares about doing the right thing. Well, whoever he is behind that mask, I say Gotham's lucky to have him. Yeah, it's great to know he's out there watching over the city. All right, Falcone's inside. Just say what you gotta say. We'll be out here. All right, here we go. Let's do this. Episode two. I like that how they just say it. They filled up the whole screen. It's like. <laughs> they just fill up the whole screen. The hell, Bruce Wayne. You must have some clout. My own wife can't get in to see me. <laughs> Good thing I'll be out of here in a week. <laughs> Just like every other time they tried to put me away. You know you're going to die in jail. <laughs> uh, I'll get witness protection in Tahiti, kid. I'm dying on the beach. <laughs> Talk like that. You remind me of your father. Yeah, that's right. Tommy and I were close. More than friends. More like cousins. Going back decades. Until you sent Joe Chill to kill him. Ah, so that's what this is really about, eh? The mm -hmm. pop digging up a 20-year-old killer. Two killings, and they were never forgotten. You and me, we're practically family. I thought you'd have figured that out by now. I tried to get through to you at Dent's party. But you? You showed me the door. Convince me then. Tell me a story about our big, happy family. <laughs> there it is. Now I got you hooked. Your father, Hill, and me. We ran this city. Still do. <clears throat> God damn this pain. Can't think through it. Morphine's on the side there. Be a good boy and help Uncle Carmine out, huh? I keep my veins clean of any of that gunk. But you never forget the tender kiss. It'd be 
so easy to give me the whole vial, wouldn't it? Enough there to put an old dog down forever. Hopefully, I hope you never know the whole story. Hopefully, I made the right decision. How much of your parents do you have in you? What kind of son did Thomas Wayne make? Do not push me, Falcone. <laughs> Apple didn't fall far, did it? You got that Wayne streak. Much better, kid. Thank you. <laughs> Just you like that reminds me of your mother. Your father may have been the doctor, but Martha, she had the human touch. Think you got more of her in you, tell the truth. Well, I wouldn't know. You took her from me when I was nine years old. What, you really think I hired Jill? Sure. I worked with Joe Chill from time to time. Put a button on someone, he'd take him out. But I never ordered that hit on your parents. So who did? You can't trust anyone in Gotham. Least of all those you call friend. Your parents learned that the They're waiting for you in hell! The bastard had to die! Hands in the air! Stand down! Get a doctor! Secure this floor! No one gets in or out! Go! Go! What? 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 That doesn't make any sense. She just came in there and freaking shot him. What the hell? Oh my god. What the hell? We are in deep shit. <sighs> I bought us some time, but not much. Word's gonna get out, sooner or later. Why would she do something like this? We had Gotham's biggest crime lord in our grasp. This close. We were this close. You both heard her. She had no love for Falcone. She's supposed to do her duty, not act on impulses. Well, yeah. This doesn't make any sense. She'd never no, do doesn't. anything to hurt the department. Oh, Falcone's case meant justice for a thousand unnamed victims. And now it is a PR disaster. How can I run against corruption when our own cops are redecorating the precinct with their prisoners' brains? That's what I'm saying. Listen, we gotta get out in front of this. We gotta spin it as best we can. Issue a statement saying that we have the shooter in custody. That details are still coming in and that we're investigating. The, the usual. Slow down, Harvey. We need the facts first. Uh, the simple fact is she walked in and shot him. Then we need the complex facts, like how and why. Lieutenant, uh, Mr. District Attorney, uh, Falcone's lawyers are here. Oh, Christ. oh, shit. I can delay them for a little while, but we still need answers. <sighs> Tell me if she says anything. I have to know why she did this. <sighs> Alfred, Falcone's been murdered. I'm looking into it, but I'll need access to the back computer for anything I find. Connection secured. Alfred, I'm gonna try and confirm some suspicions of mine. Her veins, still visible beneath her skin. injection site that doesn't look like blood doesn't. anything else Alfred I think I found the substance analyze and forward me the result of course I'll be in touch as soon as I have the results okay where am I mr. Wayne 
What's going on? Oh, but I got this awful feeling something terrible happened. It's not good, Sergeant. You shot Falcone. I did what? No. God, it's true. I believe you were drugged, Sergeant. I... It would explain a lot. Listen, you have to believe me. I talk big about hurting thugs like Falcone, but I would never, never betray the lieutenant. Everything is so foggy. I remember a sharp pain. There's an injection site on your neck. Then I just felt light, like I could do whatever I wanted. No guilt, no consequence. There was a voice in my ear insisting Falcone was going to get off. And all I knew was that I had to stop that. I had to, no matter what. The reasons why I shouldn't, they were a million miles away. You have to remember more, Montoya. Try. I remember a hand on my arm, guiding me like a parent with a child. The voice, it was saying something about revolution. Cobblepot said something similar. I'm so sorry, Lieutenant. I've let you down. We stalled Falcone's lawyers for now, but they'll be back. How is she? Did she tell you anything? Yeah, hey, 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 don't worry about that now. Montoya remembers being drugged. I was out of my mind, Lieutenant. Please believe me. Hey, get forensics in here. Now! She remembers a voice saying something about revolution. That's not much to go on. Now, if you're bringing forensics in, let's get Bruce out. Alfred, I gotta get back to the manor. I've got a lead on whoever's behind this. Bruce! What are you doing here? My friends uh, in, the, in the GCPD have been telling stories about some kind of lockdown? I, I'm, I'm sorry, Vicky. I, I don't have time. Don't brush me off. Sorry. Word is there were shots fired near yeah, where Falcone no. was being held. Yeah. Know yeah. anything about that? I mean, you must have been back there when it happened. Always digging for a story, huh? So it's true? I didn't say that. Word is, you turned over enough dirt on Falcone to put him in Blackgate prison for life. A day after he showed up at your house. And now you're here. You can't afford to be associated with another scandal. I can keep your name out of whatever we print, but you need to give me something I can use. Who fired the shots? A, a cop? I can tell by the way you're brushing me off that something happened. Please, get out of my way, Vicky. I'm in a hurry. Huh. Disappointing. Maybe you have more to do with this than I thought. Don't have time for this. Get out of the freaking way. You're just gonna make things worse. That's all you're gonna do. I mean, let's be honest, right? Such a nice car. Either Cobblepot drug Montoya himself or someone else is using his revolutionary rhetoric. Either way, I need to find him. Let's put our drones in the air and start a search. I'll run a trace on his cell. In the meantime, we have to find out what we can do about this drug. The computer's been analyzing the chemicals from Montoya's bloodstream. Throw that up on the monitor. The residue I scan on Montoya is similar to the nerve agent I found the docks. Let's see what we got. It's ironic that Falcone died at the hands of someone drugged with his chemicals. Who'd have guessed that's how he'd meet his maker? Prone in yeah. his sick bed, surrounded by police who were ordered to protect him. Falcone had it coming. 
You cause as much pain as he did, eventually it comes back on you. We should all be mindful of that. I hope he told you something before he was killed. What did you learn from him? He backed up what you told me. My father ran the city, with two of the worst men in it. If they were working together, it's strange Falcone had him killed. It wasn't Falcone who called the hit. Yes, well, I suppose that makes sense. Your father, Hill, and Falcone would have balanced each other out. Computers pinpointed reference points on the two compounds. The men at the docks were doused with the base chemicals. The reaction was... messy. They were out of control. This refined drug is like a weapon. It only took a small injection to strip Montoya of her moral filters and make her act on her base impulses. Okay. That's interesting. Both compounds seem stable, but they're quick to fall apart. Whoever processed it knew what they were doing. What could the creators of such a drug possibly have in mind? Fighting your wars is one thing, but... Dragging others to fight them for you. Oh. As far as I know, Montoya is still an isolated case. Your drones are in position to triangulate Cobblepot's location. You go. Right. Hmm. Hmm. Skyline Club. Jesus, didn't even wait for Falcone's body to get cold, did you, Oz? Going to speak with him, Bruce? Bruce Wayne already tried talking with Cobblepot. It's time he met the Batman. Ooh. Interesting.
Very interesting. 4.57 p.m. Oh, Batman is here. Oh, shit. You lot, come check out this office. Where is I don't know! Please! Oh, oh, James! Friend. You can help me. Let him go. Batman! It's about time! You kill a crime boss, you'd expect a word of thanks from Gotham's number one vigilante. Oh, don't worry, I'll pass your gratitude on to those who made it happen. They'll be pleased to know you think so highly of their work. You used an innocent cop to do your dirty work. I know how you've been using the drugs you stole at the docks. Where are they? Is this about Falcone? Yep. We all saw how you felt about Falcone. Pounded him into a pulp on live TV. If you were truly the defender of this city, you'd have finished the job yourself. Admit it. Falcone deserved to die. Vermin like Falcone, they deserve to be stomped out. Believe me, I know. Falcone had it coming, but that doesn't mean you're off the hook. There we go. That wasn't so hard to admit, was it? <laughs> Must be a relief to get that stick out of your ass every now and then. As a show of good faith, I'm gonna let this one go. How's about we talk this through? We helped you with Falcone. Now, if we could just cut out the rest of the rot, like Wayne and Hill, ordinary folks might be able to breathe. Oswald Cobblepot. What is it about this place that attracts criminal scum like you? Gotta admit, you've got flair. Here's the thing. I actually admire you, Batman. We both want the same kinds of things. Me and my people, we've got big plans for Gotham. They found Catwoman. What do you want with her? We had a deal. She didn't make good on it. So sorry this didn't work out, mate. I'd stay in watch. I would, but I still got a Catwoman problem to deal with. Or oh, what's her name again? Selena. Yes! Oh, beautiful name! <laughs> Gonna have to try harder. Oh, I will. Track down Selena Kyle. I'll find her right away. All right. Let's go, my boys. A big fan. Completed chapter three of episode two. Nice. I need you to talk to er, to 
urgently. Okay. <laughs> Is that Bruce Wayne? You really think he'd show up here? A new twist in the race for the mayor's office as Harvey Dent backer Bruce Wayne comes under fire for alleged corruption. Joining me live is Mayor Hamilton Hill. Mr. Mayor, you said earlier today that in light of the allegations against him, Bruce Wayne should distance himself from Dent, but that was unlikely to happen. Why? He strikes me as, well, the jealous sort. Very possessed boys. The profile. Cops raided his... You lost? Because I don't have a tourist. Looks like you walked into the wrong bar. Do you know Selena Kyle? They're meant... Uh-huh. When aren't there? Well, these ones are trying to kill her. Hey. Don't I know you? It is... Knew it! The cops take all your fancy clothes? <laughs> Are you trying to lay low? Of course, you're not really the low type. How about a few? <laughs> it ain't like you're short on cash. Leave him alone. Man's just trying to have a drink. He didn't seem to mind the company. But whatever. I was, I wasn't mind. Selena, I need to tell you something important. Better be an apology. You were supposed to take care of our mutual problem. Instead, you just pissed him off. That's why I'm here. You're in danger. I've had rats on my tail all day. The man who hired you, his name is Oswald Cobblepot. Never heard of him. He goes by Penguin. Penguin? Shit. Ugh, you've got to be kidding me. You should have just killed me on that rooftop. I'm dead anyway. When you screw someone over, you really screw them. The Penguin. <laughs> it's not my fault that you're in this, Selena, but I can help you out of it. Tell me what you know about Penguin. I only know him by reputation. I'm surprised you never heard of him. He's a big deal across the pond. He's more dangerous than you think. I grew up with Oz. He's the first real friend I ever had. I'm not surprised. Questionable morals and a penchant for theatrics? You two have a lot in common. <laughs> the question is, why Gotham? Why now? It's not like he's hurting for crime syndicates abroad. He thinks he's changing the world for the better, no matter the cost. Well, he's no Joan of Arc, that's for sure. Well, I'm not sticking around here to find out. Oswald, Penguin is about to unleash God knows what on the city. You can't just leave. A good reason not to be here when he does. You want to stay? That's your choice. If Penguin is everything you say, there's no tree high enough for you to climb. He will find you. So what are you suggesting? The bat helps the cat? And the cat helps the bat. Bruce, sweetie, the gallant knight thing, it really is adorable. But what would Harvey think? The two of us, working together? After all, I'm not really an all work and no play kind of girl. Harvey knows that. You and Harvey, it's pretty clear you aren't just friends. Please, I'm just toying with him. I only take my claws out for someone special. You and I... Wait, what? Oh shit. You and I, what? Uh -oh. oh no. Well, Bruce, you were right. Selena Kyle, 
Penguin says, hello. Beat it. We're here for her. If you care about your own skin, you'll get the hell out. She's with me. I think you need to leave. They want more. Then let's <laughs> give it to them. Gosh, that was awesome. You fight pretty good for such a pretty boy. So, I really did enjoy that. That was cool. Quick, check the alleyway! Oh, shit. Do you see anything? Negative. Let's check the other side. Let's get out of here. Hmm, okay. I'll take the rooftops. You take the alley. Wait. Yes or no, will you help me stop Penguin? I'm gonna say maybe, but only because he's trying to kill me. Pretty good reason to say yes. You shouldn't trust me, you know. <laughs> that was interesting. Alfred, I'm uploading the contents of a smartphone to the back computer. Check to see if there's anything on the phone we can use. Processing it now. Is everything all right? There are quite a few police cars convening on your location. It's fine. Has the back computer found anything yet? Bruce, there are a number of messages here. 
All from Mayor Hill. Mayor Hill? Uh, the last voicemail is his. Listen to this. I gave you everything I have on Wayne. I've held up my end of the bargain, and I expect you to do the same. <laughs> this is very shady indeed. Whatever they're talking about, it doesn't sound good. I should have guessed. Hill's working with Penguin. If Hill's talking to Penguin, he must know something. It's time I paid him a visit. I agree. The mayor must have answers, but if I may offer a word of advice. People look up to Batman after how you handle Falcone. Terrorizing the mayor could damage that goodwill. Then again, Batman's methods would certainly get him talking immediately. Bruce would have to depend on his guile to loosen Hill's lips. Ooh. Going as Bruce is the smart choice. I think, I, uh, hopefully we made the right choice. Well, I guess we'll see it at the end what our choices were. No, we, no I, I, I thought that uh, maybe Bruce is a smarter choice due to the fact that maybe meeting him as a human being is more smarter than uh, being a hero, if you understand what I mean. But I think some people maybe would have picked Batman because he's awesome. I don't know. <laughs> I would expect that. We'll see. If I did, the, if, if I made the right choice. Sorry, the mayor's busy. Do you have an appointment? Uh, the mayor's doing debate prep. He really can't be disturbed right now. No, so you better tell him I'm coming. Uh, sir, Bruce Wayne, to see you. He'll be right out. I'm not waiting. <laughs> Bruce Wayne. Finally, you've come to see me. Mm-hmm. Of course, only after your name's been dragged through the mud. Don't get me wrong. I'm glad to see you. We can be friends, Hill. I'd like us to put aside our differences. It's easy to ask for peace when you've already lost the war. But I won't be the one to deny a fresh start. Your father and I, we took this city and made it ours. Falcone, too, rest his soul. We built everything we have. You were born with it. A soft boy like you wouldn't understand what it takes to rise to the top. Oh, I understand. Very well. I gave you everything I have on Wayne. I've held up my end of the bargain, and I expect you to do the same. Sounds like me. <laughs> it is you. So? What's your point? I take it you have one. Or are you just fond of my dulcet tones? Why attack me? Because of Dent and the campaign? Yeah. I'm in Cobblepot's crosshairs, same as you. But you fed them dirt on me. Only the files I seized from Wayne Manor. Your father, Falcone, and I, we had ways of getting anything we wanted. How do you think your family got the land for Wayne Tower? Cobblepot wants retribution because we took his family's land. Mm -hmm. Oswald's family signed it over to us. Even if that's true, it's no excuse for Cobblepot's crimes. I quite agree. It doesn't hurt to understand your enemy's motives. There's so much more I could share, if only we were friends. I could help you deal with Penguin, let you in on some family history. But I'm caught in a dogfight for my political career, and my rival has bottomless pockets. Now, if that rival were to say, drop out, or his advertising spend were to dry up, I might have a lot more resources for helping a new friend. Hmm. I don't know. This is hard. Fine. That's what it takes to earn your friendship. I knew you'd see the light. It's time we really talked. Power is an old oak. The trunk stands strong, but it's the roots that hold it up. And the thickest of them lead to Arkham. Arkham Asylum? Your father, me, Falcone, we used it to get our enemies out of the way, drugged and declared them insane. 
It made it easy to take their things. Thomas was the doctor. I leveraged my political power to ease the transfer yeah. of assets. So that's what Oz wants to punish me for. His mother was one of our last patients. You can hardly expect him to think rationally. Hmm. Gotham was chaos before we took control. At least now there's a semblance of order. Listen, Bruce. Now that we're back on the same side, your father's last gift to me. They're yours. The keys to the city. Thank you. Hamilton. Call me Hamilton. Penguins gathered quite a few victims to his crusade. But that's a problem for another day. Now if you'll excuse me, I have to prep for the debate. My door is always open, Bruce. Next time, make an appointment. Whatever deal you made with Penguin, he won't honor it. Don't worry about me. He's not the first to take a shot at me. Alfred, get a warning to Gordon. Tell him to increase security of the debate. Hill seems to think he's safe, but Penguin's still out there. Alrighty then, bros. If you guys are enjoying the live stream, remember to leave a like if you guys do or are enjoying. Comment in the comment section if you guys would like me to get that awesome game Friday night the 13th. Friday the 13th, sorry. I don't know why I keep saying that. <laughs> On Friday the 13th for my Xbox One. Okay, so in the comment section below. That'd be awesome, guys. Well, here we go, back in the Batman cave. Yes. Ooh. Beastie. <laughs> awesome. Hell yeah. I wonder what else is on here. Hmm. As per your request, Lieutenant Gordon has tripled security at the debate. Thanks, Alfred. It's a plan of the old Monarch Theater. The auditorium mm -hmm. where the debate's being held. Hmm. I hacked into the image feeds from the security cameras at the auditorium. Just to be safe. Just to be safe. <laughs> Hills, details about your father. They must have been quite upsetting. I can't imagine how you must feel. To learn so much in so little time. To hear their crimes detailed. First by Falcone, then by a snake like Hill. It makes me question myself. You shouldn't, Bruce. You are your own man. And the city needs you, now more than ever. <sighs> yeah, you're very right. It does need us. I'll, uh, leave you to it then. Thank you. Wait a minute. The images on these cameras haven't changed. Something's wrong. Penguin's men may have commandeered the cameras on their end. We could just be looking at... What they want us to see. Warn Gordon that he may have visitors. I have to get down there. Now. Awesome. My boys. <laughs> That's so cool. So happy I played this series with you, bros. It's so awesome. If you guys would don't want me to do any more Batman games, because there are some cool Batman games, if you guys would like me to do those those as well, please tell me in the comment section below. Harvey needs to get out of there. Hey, Bruce. Man, I'm glad you called. I needed to talk to you, actually. Something's come up. Something that's... Well, it's, it's not exactly pleasant. Ha Harvey, listen to me. Your life is in danger. Because of Penguin and his thugs? Thanks, but there is an army of security here. They have me in some back room until the debate begins. For my own protection, they said. A little bit of overkill, if you ask me. <laughs> it's not overkill, Harvey. It's a real... Please. I need to get this off my chest. Uh, look. Bruce. 
I didn't want to do this over the phone, but... My advisors are telling me that I need to... <clears throat> that I need to distance myself from you. Until all this mess with your family blows over. They're afraid it's not a very good optic. Ouch, Harvey. Talk about a sucker punch. What with the allegations in the press, and now this mess with Falcone, you're a liability. But here's the thing, Bruce. Without your money, I am dead in the water. I know this is a delicate topic, but I need you to keep me afloat. I may have to trash you in public, but you and me, we'll know the truth about our friendship. You've got some nerve, Harvey. Either we're a team or we're not. Oh, of course we're a team, Bruce. Of course we are. Just... Not in front of the press. Listen, I hate to push you, but I... I need to know. Can I count on your money, Bruce? Whatever it takes to save Gotham, that's what we wanted. I'll always support you, Harvey. Oh, you, Bruce, thank Hope you. I made the right choice. You don't know how much this means to me. To Gotham. I'm sorry, Bruce. The makeup person is here. <laughs> Guess she needs to put on my face. I hope you can still watch the debate somewhere. Uh, no matter what I have to say tonight, remember. You are always my friend. Harvey! <laughs> my gosh, you're going so fast. It's so awesome. So excited how the series is going to end. It's going to be an awesome ride, you guys. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Batman! Yeah, all quiet so far. <laughs> I've got a feeling that's about to change. Mm -hmm. I'm glad I took a chance on this, this collaboration of ours. Keep on doing what you're doing, and the rest of Gotham will start to see you like I do. A hero. Thank you. Hero is a lofty title. I hope I live up to it. Could be tonight's the night to prove it. We have bigger things to worry about right now. Your security has been compromised. I've got patrols on every door. You better check on them. I'd keep that holstered if I were you. What's she doing here? She was part of that robbery at the mayor's office. Really? You're gonna drag out that dead horse? I think she's mending her ways. Oh, he's right, Lieutenant. I don't do the bad things anymore. Unless it's on request. Oh, this better not come back to bite me. Alpha Patrol, come in. <laughs> that, um, incident in the bar. Dead is its own kind of cage. I can't stand being in it. Not that I needed your help or anything, but you had my back. I thought I'd repay the favor. You know, like you scratch my back, I cut some people up. Doing the right thing? Maybe there's hope for you yet. Don't read too much into it. I'm just allergic to owing you anything. <laughs> None of my men on the ground are responding. Enough waiting. We're going in. Alpha! Do you read? Now, aren't you glad I'm here? Ha! <laughs> well, you have a better shot than my SWAT team of getting in there quietly. Well, we are seriously underfunded at the GCPD. Sounds like a vote for Dent, Lieutenant. <laughs> it doesn't look like they're outside, so they're probably inside. It's so awesome! So happy Telltale's made this game series. It's so cool. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to our live debate for the next mayor of Gotham. This is an important debate for these two candidates, incumbent Mayor Hamilton Hill and the challenger Gotham District Attorney Harvey Dent. And it's also important for you, the citizens of I think Gotham, she likes me. Um, the, the, the Batman, uh, Catwoman. I think she likes, <laughs> likes Batman. In years. I could see that. Rise in crime rates, income inequality, and yes, a 
masked vigilante loose on our streets. Candidates will tackle it all. At least we know why they weren't responding. Gordon, we found one of your patrols. They've been terminated. Oh, those goddamn so sorry, ladies and gents. As you might have guessed, there's been a change to tonight's program. First order of business... Firing the moderator! I hate to be a downer, but these hostages... I don't like their chances. Oh, they just didn't have a head for the issues. Casualties are inevitable. It's only a question of how many. Inspiring. You really know how to pep a girl up. <gasps> You'll do. Get out here. Keep it quiet back there. These guys are armed to the teeth. Uh, we need a new moderator. Come on, you. You there. Yes. You. Oh, thank you wait. for volunteering. Please. No. Go on, then. Introduce the candidates. Stage fright, huh? All right. I'll get you started. But this is your show. Three hostiles. Gotta take them out quietly. Under control here. I told you all the truth. Look at Stew or old Mrs. Ravish. I gave you what you wanted. Maybe next time. Keep your heads down. Make for the police line. And now, a word from our sponsor. My dear brothers and sisters of color. You have nothing to fear. We are the children of Arkham. We Arkham. are here to end the masquerade. And expose the corruption that ruined your city. For too long, men like your esteemed mayor have profited from the pain of innocence. I knew this was too big for Oswald alone. Someone else is pulling the strings. Smart. Let someone else do the dirty work. <laughs> Go on, love. You know what to do. Oh, 
no. Everybody in Gotham saw that moderator get shot on live TV. What's going on in there? First off, we should incinerate the pool. Wait until you get a damn job. Why am I waiting? Did you get anything to say? You really want to hear what I think? No. Gotham is flawed. Sure. What city is it? We're out of time, Batman! The brass is going nuts with those two drugs on stage! Trying. Corrupt politicians. And what about the corrupt elite? The men's fortunes are built on corpses. Men like your friend, Bruce Wayne. You're as bad as he is. Happy to look away from what you don't want to see. Roll the tape! Subject 9. Dad. I thought your father was dead. Subject 9. Esther Cobblepot. You've been declared criminally insane and committed to Arkham indefinitely as a ward of the state. <laughs> Please don't do this. You had your chance. You should have made the deal we offered you. Give her the drug. Thomas, we were, we're friends. We both play together. You were warned, Esther. You know I always get what I want. Commence the procedure. Give her a dose she won't come back from. <laughs> Now you know. Now you will see. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You certainly know how to make an entrance. Oh. 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 Stop! I had him killed because of it! No, 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 no. So this is for her. You don't let you kill anyone else! What's your turn, Dent? Oh no. You made Bruce Wayne your biggest supporter, and he didn't even turn up. <laughs> Batman! The revolution's already started. It's too late to join. Your revolution is over, Penguin. On the contrary, we're just getting started. No, you're done.
That was hard. Stop shooting at me. Oh my God. Harvey. Where's the maniac in the mask? We need paramedics over here. Now! That was hard to pick. to determine. Wow, that was intense. City Hall is in chaos after Mayor Hamilton Hill was confirmed dead. While several members of the Children of Arkham have been arrested, the Penguin is still at large. He won't be the same after this. Meanwhile, the Wayne family scandal continued to escalate after the full list of Thomas Wayne's victims was released to the public. see a connection right there I really do hmm. lawyers representing Bruce Wayne have no comment at this time we are the children of Arkham and we have opened your eyes that was episode 2 that was short. Tur. Wow, that was shorter. Did you did you ease Falcon's pain or make him suffer? You earned seventy percent of players eased Falcon's pain with morphine. Okay. Did you kiss Selena? You and seventy eight percent of players tried to kiss. Oh, I didn't make the right choice there. Did you visit Mayor Hill as Bruce or Batman? Ooh, you and fifty seven percent of players choose to visit Mayor Hill as Bruce Wayne. Okay. Hmm. That's interesting. Did you withdraw your funding for Har Harvey's companion? You know, 91% of the players continued to fund Harvey's companion. All right. Wow, we did really good. Here is the one I was kind of skeptical to pick. You and 62% of players saved Selena over Harvey. Ooh. So more people. Okay. I was the majority in all of these decisions. Wow. Okay. Well, that was it. Um, I think I'm supposed to let the credits end. Um, maybe, I'm not sure. That I'm not sure about. So, but uh, hope you guys did enjoy this live stream. That was um, an hour and 20 minutes, it looks like. So, yeah, that was that was really good, though, you guys. Hope you guys did enjoy. Remember, leave a like if you guys did enjoy. Um, and hit that subscribe button if you guys are new. Don't forget to hit that bell icon. Just 
just um, on the side of it so you guys will be notified anytime I make a new um, video or a live stream or whatever so please do that and don't forget the comment session in that one video so you guys could pick what live stream you guys would like me to do next so please watch that video it is the second video after this one uploads as a YouTube video otherwise it is the first one so please watch that one and vote which game you guys would like me to live stream next and hope you guys are having a good day and I'll see you guys in the next live stream stay awesome guys actually wait hold on <laughs> as always over his gamer signing out stay awesome bros